So there have been countless local news stories over the years of people pleading for stop signs and traffic lights to be added to their neighborhood. This might be the first local TV news story about a woman who just wants the red light gone. It's not like people stop anyway. Here's Steve Steger. Typically in this situation, when someone's begging people to slow down near their home, they would be thrilled to have a traffic light installed. Pauline Seeger says when this intersection at 136th and Sable went from four stop signs to a light, it got worse. And now we have what we call the death light. They call it the death light because people constantly run the red. Nobody stops for the light. And when we say constantly, we mean constantly. Watch, boom. Another red light. <laughs> all day long. We could do this all day long. Four times in the 10 minutes we talked out front. Seven. There we go again. Boom. There's another one. How many more do you, would you like hey, to see? Don't believe us? Pauline's got video proof from a camera she set up. And these 265 videos are red lights. Blood red lights. She's caught school buses running reds, plenty of semis, and sometimes as many as three cars. I've literally labeled it, oh my God, camera. The city of Brighton told us they haven't received any indications of safety concerns from local law enforcement. I tried to be nice. I cried, I screamed, I begged, I pleaded. I've done every form known to man. Pauline complained to the county sheriff this morning. And while we were there, a deputy pulled into her driveway and had someone pulled over in a matter of moments. Pauline just wishes the city would rethink this area. I want protection on my corner where I live and pay taxes. I'm not getting it. So the reason the city of Brighton made this change from stop signs to traffic lights is because during rush hour, that area really gets busy with people trying to avoid the highways. And with a four way stop, those backups, as you could imagine, was pretty bad, just a lineup of cars. So the city of Brighton told us they are looking into traffic data from that intersection based on complaints. And if they find something concerning, Kyle, they say they will make a change. But Pauline says when it was a four way stop, People still went through that intersection, but it was yeah. a little bit safer because they kind of did the California stop where sure. they'd roll up and make sure no one was coming. As opposed to punch it, Which, punch it, we're going through. And I asked yeah. her, do you have any idea why people do this? And she said, I, I don't know. I mean, there are videos in there, 236 videos, where the red light is red for like five seconds yeah. and the car doesn't even slow down. That's, that's wild. Human nature, trying to fight it in all its many forms. Yeah. Thank you, Steve.